And here in the East, it's a battle for District 1 in Congress. Laurie Buckhout beats Sandy Smith in the Republican primary and will take on City Congressman Don Davis in the newly redrawn district. And that is where we start here at 6 o'clock tonight. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on your local election headquarters. I'm Ken Watlington. Angie Casada has the evening off. We reached out to both Davis and Buckout today to learn more about this District 1 race. Not your side's Aaron Jenkins joins us now in studio. Aaron, what do we know about this race? Well, Ken, some political experts say this race for the first congressional district could be one of the most competitive races across the state. Both candidates are telling me they have what it takes to represent parts of eastern North Carolina in Washington, D.C. We have all the ingredients right now um, in the first congressional district for a very exciting, very competitive uh, U.S. House election. It'll be a toss up race between incumbent Democrat Don Davis and Republican nominee Lori Buckout. Lori Buckout uh, brings a lot of strengths to this race, you know, given her, her background in the military, her success as a businesswoman. But Don Davis is also the incumbent. And incumbents are very difficult to beat. Buckout is new to the political scene here in eastern North Carolina. She's a retired Army colonel and a business leader. She's from Virginia, but currently lives in Edenton. I reached out to Buckout. Her team gave us a statement saying in part, quote, I am ready and able to take on Don Davis to fight for working families in NC01 by securing our borders, stopping Joe Biden's reckless spending, and fighting for the America First agenda that protects and promotes American jobs, end quote. Davis has been in Congress for one term now. He was a North Carolina senator for six terms. He's an Air Force veteran and was the mayor of Snow Hill. I spoke with Davis about his time in Washington, D.C. so far. We're fighting every single day, in particular for our farmers. Uh, we have a farm bill that's going to be taking place. Um, this year, it is essential more than ever have the serious conversations about securing the border. And one of the highest priorities that I have and I continue to focus on is safeguarding the American people and especially those in eastern North Carolina. Whoever comes out on top in November could have major pull in the United States House. The Republican Party has 219 seats in the House of Representatives. Democrats have 213 seats. Any sort of movement whatsoever um, in the next election, you know, could have major, you know, major implications. Now, this is a race we will be closely watching as we continue into the general election in November. In the studio, Aaron Jenkins, nine on your side. Aaron, thank you.